Happy Monday. We have Pippa and Barrett's F1 Sheep and Doodle Puppies, and these babies are three weeks old now. So they are growing stronger and moving around a little more. They still sleep a lot, and Pippa takes care of them. We've got them out in the living room for a new experience for the day. They have been in the living room while we've been holding and carrying them, but not all in a group like this. And they still sleep most of the time. We do still have availability in this litter. So we have 10 puppies and we have four families who are in line for these pups. We'll do puppy picks when they're about six weeks old after their vet visit. So on April 3rd, then our fantastic vet, Dr. Bart Bain, New Hope Pet Vet, will come here and he will check all the puppies out and then we'll start contacting the families in line for one of these puppies to see which puppy they would like. We'll answer any questions and talk to them about it. And there'll be more videos before then and individual videos and new pictures to help families decide. If you're interested in one of these puppies, then you can go ahead and get in line before puppy picks. You can email us at okoyriverdoodles at gmail.com and we'll schedule a phone call so we can answer any questions you have and talk to you about these babies. This is our spices litter. And we're gonna see each of the puppies a little more closely. Now that they can hear, they have all kinds of puppy sounds. And they're not very playful right now, but when mama comes to feed them and to check on them and clean them, they'll get up and walk around. And they're kind of clumsy and cute. This is really one of our favorite ages, this three to four weeks with our puppies. So, we have collars on the girls right now, and we'll put collars on the boys just to get them used to wearing collars. We use breakaway collars when they're this little so that as they're wrestling, if they get stuck, then the collars will pop off and not be dangerous for them. <laughs> so we have a black and white boy right here. It's our puppy we're calling Basil. He's got this little dot on his head. Little panda eyes. He's a good mixture of black and white. Let's see if I can move them out of the way. They, they'll probably want to curl back together to be in their little sleep pile. We have our Merle, one of our two Merle boys. This is Tom. And so he's got this black elbow patch, the gray, silvery gray coat with a black patches on it and then white markings and I can see his eyes I'm not seeing any blue in his eyes at least right now we'll continue to watch the puppies are usually four to five weeks old before we'll know feel confident about their eye color there is Tom make sure we saw the other side of his head this is Rosemary one of our black and white girls and Rosemary is a really big puppy. She's got this beautiful square face. Little white socks. And she's a beautiful baby. Then we have Sage, one of our other black and white girls. Has a little blaze up her face. White socks. She's quite a bit smaller than Rosemary right now. Put her over to the side. Next we have Parsley, our other Merle boy. Seeing some blue and parsley's eyes. <laughs> I don't know if the camera is right there. You can see, so we'll keep watching to see as he gets older if he's gonna have blue eyes. <laughs> we have our other black and white girl, Ginger. She's real spotty, got splashes. Of white all over her. Both ears have black patches and a little white on her chest and front legs. 
Most of the time our black and white puppies have dark eyes. But occasionally we'll have a black and white puppy that has blue eyes. Uh, we did in our litter of Bonnie and Sawyer's puppies. So we'll watch them. One of our black and white boys. This is Cinnamon with a white blaze up his face. Tom got away from his buddies here. Let's see if we can make him feel a little better. There we go. All right, so here is our Cinnamon. All these puppies will have wavy coats. They have one copy of Curl one copy of straight coat. So a poodle has two copies of curl. So when they have one copy of curl, we consider it wavy. They may have some big curls in their coat. Well, mama is 50 pounds, 55 pounds, and dad is 35 pounds. So we expect most of the puppies to be between mom and dad sizes. And previous litters usually stay around 40 pounds. So this is Chives. Here's a little black and white boy. He doesn't have as much splashing on his body, but a lot of white, a big white collar and a lot of white on his face here. And one black eye on this side. Here is our only merle female in this litter. And you see all that silver gray. This is Nutmeg. And last, we have Chili Pepper. He is a huge puppy. He's got a big square face. And I think Chili Pepper is the biggest puppy in the litter. Beautiful white stockings on his legs. He's gonna open his eyes a little bit. Alright, so here are our F1 sheepy puppies. We get to do a lot of playing with them this week. This is just our favorite age, they're so sweet and cuddly. It's fun to sit with all of them and just have them surround you before they're jumping and nipping and a little older. So we hope you check back in next week with our sheep doodle puppies and see how they grow here at Okoy River Doodles. Pippa's puppies are back in their whelping area and we took a little video of them exploring it now that they have their litter boxes added. In their litter boxes we have alfalfa pellets that smell like grass and then turf on the top. So this is our very earliest potty training as the puppies learn to use the litter boxes and then as they get older they'll use the doggy door to go outside.